Well, hello and good evening and welcome to the People's News Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 7th, 2020. Well, in our news today, we have K.O., the wife of Senator Mitch McConnell, has also faced, she's been facing criticism because of her financial interests related to her role as Transportation Secretary. In fact, she actually resigns after chaos grips the Capitol after three years of supporting Trump's agenda. Then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Thursday joined the call for Vice President Mike Pence to immediately invoke the 25th Amendment to remove President Donald Trump from office one day after violent mobs of the president's supporters fueled by his unfounded conspiracy theories about election fraud, election fraud descended on the Capitol. And they also, the funny thing is, is internet platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter in particular have played a, fundament, a fundamental role in basically facilitating the um, chaos at the Capitol. So basically, the platforms must pay for their role as for the insurrection. A U.S. Capitol Police officer has died from events stemming from Wednesday's riot at the Capitol. The police officer is now the fifth person to die as a result of the day's violence. Um, the shocking event of the last twenty-four hours. The shocking events of the last twenty-four hours. Sorry about that. Clearly, dem clearly demonstrate that the President Donald Trump intends to use his remaining time in office to undermine the peaceful and lawful transition of power to his electoral successor, Joe Biden. Zuckerberg said this on his post. Isn't that nice? Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg is actually talking about the president. And then um, President Trump says he is committed to a peaceful transition of power and to ensuring our nation's defense and, and defeat the pandemic, sorry, our, our nation defeats the pandemic. Trump said restoring the nation's economy is going to require all Americans to work together. Then Rep. Omar calls for Trump's impeachment amid capital chaos. And then also, Rep. Adam K Kissinger, K Kissinger, I think it is, a Republican on Thursday, became the first GOP lawmaker, bleh, 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 the first GOP lawmaker, sorry about that to call for the invoking of the 25th Amendment to remove President Trump from office. And then Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said President Trump is banned from posting on Facebook until the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. And then more than a dozen Democrats and at least one Republican, sorry to tell you about one Republican, uh, representatives are uh, politically calling on Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment and remove President Donald Trump from office. And then Texas, Texas Democrats say Senator Ted Cruz leading a role in the efforts to block the certification of President-elect Joe Biden's electoral victory empowered the pro-Trump writers who breached the Capitol, and they're basically calling for his resignation as well. And at least four people are dead after the pro-Trump writers stormed the U.S. Capitol. One woman, identified as Ashley Abbott, was shot by an officer inside the Capitol using a, a, a capital building and later died at the hospital. The others are now on administrative leave. After the violence and dead of the daily day, President Trump, who is currently locked out of his social accounts, <laughs> sorry, I think it's funny, he's locked out of his social accounts, said there will be an ordinary transition on, on the um, 20th of January in a statement posted Secondhand by a social media director. Isn't that nice? He got someone else to put his stuff up for him. And then Senate De Democratic leader Chuck Schumer said the attack on the Capitol was an insurrection against the United States. Incited by the president, he had, he added the president should not hold office any longer. But on with other more pressing news. What is basically about, still about the same thing, you know, I mean, and uh, this is basically your stimulus update. I mean, because right now we're waiting for lawmakers to decide whether they're going to do a two thousand dollars standalone stimulus check, or if they're, they're going to actually do a massive one like the Heroes Act, first one, which is a three point four trillion dollar act. So let's hop on and give you some more upper upper news here. 
I mean, it was a, cra it was a crazy day in the past 24 hours. I agree with that. We had rioters storm the Capitol last night. They broke windows and so much more. Did a lot of damage, basically. If you watched my live stream from yesterday, you guys should see what they did. Kevin McCarthy, top house Republican, was <clears throat> told to subject that it was. It basically said that it might have been the um left the left wing rioters that stormed the White House after what Trump said. And in fact, we we know it was all the Trump supporters. Yeah, well, that and the Proud Boys, of course. The Proud Boys had to be in somewhere. Those people are doing their, their party no basically these people are doing their party no favor at all. I mean, just Donald Trump alone is not doing the Republican Party any favors at all. I mean, if you're Republicans, you should be basically hating ugh, sorry, hating Donald Trump more than the Democrats do. Trump has single handedly divided the Republican Party between Trump supporters, sorry, Trump loyalists. And those who are over Trump. But he has basically left Senate Republicans with any power at the federal level. And I believe that most Senate Republicans, to save their skin, will distance themselves from Donald Trump. As well as embrace the Democratic introduced legislation to help to save their party. Members of Congress asked him to issue a uh, halt order. Well, ask his followers to stop. Trump, Trump actually dragged his feet over using the National Guard to take control of the situation and offered a very weak AF statement, mildly encouraging people to go home, trying to make some attempt to backpedal while still preaching his voter fraud trap. In fact, here's a video for you so you can hit yourself. I know you're pain. I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election, and everyone knows it, especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt. It's a very tough period of time. There's never been a time like this where such a thing happened, where they could take it away from all of us from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election, but we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel, but go home and go home in peace. And as you heard from the speech, um, his, his, his basically he was really super weak, you know what I mean? But he held on to the false voter fraud claims. Several White House staffers who have, have basically resigned since this cast is sued. And as you know, the lawmakers are calling for Vice President Pence to actually invoke the 25th Amendment to remove Donald Trump from office. One Republican, Adam, uh, Kissinger from Illinois did call for Trump's to be removed from office. And at 3.45 a.m. this morning, Congress did confirm Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. And at this present time, that is all I sort of have for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed my broadcast. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button and like the like button as well. And so you can get more of my broadcasts. So until next time, you guys have a very wonderful evening. And congratulations, Democrat. Go Democrats. We need that. Those Democrats will help us out so the people can get the help that we've been needing for a very long time. The Republicans have been denying us. But like I said, until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>